Hey everyone, I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. And we are Grove, Grove Electric. Electric. We are getting ready to go on a pretty epic road trip. Uh, it is for my 30th birthday celebration. Woohoo! So <laughs> we are going to be traveling in our Tesla Model 3 Trinity. We're going to be traveling from Pennsylvania through Virginia, South Carolina, and Georgia. And you are along for the ride. Last night we stayed over at our surprise guest house, so we did not charge. So that left us this morning at 52%. So we will be hitting up a supercharger first thing this morning and getting her two cents on this whole experience throughout the ride. And it's at a Wawa, which is the best convenient shop on the planet. Shout out to Wawa. So we'll be getting some coffee and some food to fuel ourselves as well as fuel our vehicle on this trip. So we have arrived at the first stop, the Wawa. Best convenience shop on the East Coast, hands down, bar none. It's awesome. You can get everything that you need, your coffee, your food. I'm about to get some eggs. I love eggs. Uh, so yeah, so we're here. We're going to charge up and then we will get back on the road with full bellies and full charge. Supercharger stop number one. Best thing about Tesla, click the button and it opens the charge port. Flashy flash. And we're charging. We have got the goods. And the eggs. And the coffee. True. She uh she needs Need her coffee. It. Yeah. So sorry, world and body. But. Got a got a couple other beverages and snacks, you know, to keep us fueled up as we go along on this trip. And we have about five minutes remaining on our charge, and then we will be on the road officially. And we only have to wait five extra minutes. Honestly, it's perfect amount of time for him to devour his eggs and all that, and then throw away the trash. And it's a great, great experience charging because we love it. We're going to wait here anyway. So while we sit here, um, we enjoyed our nice breakfast. We still have about 7% um, to charge because we decided to charge to 90% so we can go a little farther before having to stop again. And I had to finish eating my breakfast. Of course. So we do want to take a moment to introduce our special guest, and that is Grandmom Grove. <laughs> So, Grandmom, good morning. What question did you have for us? I wanted to know um, how you go about charging it and why you're only charging to 90% instead of 100%. Well, Mark, do you want to tackle that one? Sure. So, the best analogy that I have is when you're pouring something into a glass. And the lights just went <laughs> off, so now you can't see me on. Oh. Okay, so when you're pouring something into a glass, when you start with an empty glass you can pour a lot faster because there's a lot of space available. But as you get towards the top of the glass, you have to slow down the pour because there's less space available. Well, same thing with charging. As you're packing those electrons into your battery pack, when there's a lot of space, it can go faster. And as it starts to get smaller on the space in the battery pack, you have to go slower. So even from 80 to 90 was slower, but if we charge from 90 to 100, that would be extremely slow. It would be extremely inefficient and extremely costly and not worth our time. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to get on the road at 90%, which normally would just be 80%, but I needed that extra breakfast time. So we got 90% so we can go a little bit further on our travels as we head to Virginia. Virginia. So you go ahead and you hit the button. It's going to disengage the charging. Disconnect it. And then the charge port door closes. Go ahead and... Hang your charger up on the beautiful Tesla charging rack, and you are ready to go. All right, guys, so um, I donated a kidney about two years ago almost, so I drink a lot of water. So that makes me have to use the restrooms even on these road trips. Luckily, when I asked Mark to pull into the rest stop, it just happened to have charging. So that's a win-win in my book. So luckily we got to stop to use the restroom and also charge up, which was a very unexpected and nice surprise. If you remember from our first video, the first road trip we ever took, we panned over to Morgan and we said, hey, so what do you think about the car so far? And she was sound asleep the whole time. And then she had like, uh, oh, 
it's so comfy and so nice and I love it. I don't even feel any bumps. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, our special guest. Grandma. Sleeping. Also <laughs> sleeping. So yeah, if you want to have passengers that sleep the whole time, buy a Tesla. We just stopped off for some lunch. We got some Arby's uh, just because I saw the commercial for the Diablo. And if you know me, I love spicy food. And if you don't know me, well, I love spicy food. And so... <laughs> and I love Arby's because they got the meats. <laughs> they, they do. So we stopped off, got some Arby's. I ordered the Diablo. I must say that I am very disappointed. It wasn't spicy at all. I got their uh, spicy three pepper sauce. I added about two packets of it to all my food that I ate. And I had a little heat. It was... But, Honestly, I tried it. I'm not like the biggest spicy lover, but like I can take some heat. It wasn't that spicy in my opinion either. But my favorite part of buying that sandwich was this little vanilla shake you get. If you're a wimp, you can drink your little vanilla shake. <laughs> or you can just have it for a special little dessert, which is what we're going to do. Yeah, exactly. And you definitely have to be a wimp if you can't handle that. So <laughs> let's just be straight up. So we uh, stopped off at the Wawa. We charged up. We ate lunch. And now we're going to continue our journey to our final stop for the day. So we have arrived at our first destination on this trip and Mark is now about to unpack the trunk and we just want to demonstrate exactly how much we stuffed in the back of our car. Okay. So you got to have the ice chest. Is this a U2? You got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 our special guest luggage. I don't know what this is. This is a pumpkin. <laughs> I wouldn't put the pumpkin up high. Okay, nope. Put, yeah. Yep. Pumpkin. It's pumpkin season, people. I'm not going to need this. Oh, no. That's it's nice. 80 degrees here. Oh, thanks. You gotta have the Vera Bradley. All the Vera Bradley. One, two, three. And of course, special guest has Vera Bradley. And then the shoes. Shoe bag. Only shoes. When you're going away for nine days, people, you gotta have options. This is the last thing. This is for our special host that we have made a special dessert to be continued all right so we arrived at our first stop and uh, the special guest grandma did finally arise from her sleeping and <laughs> we just want to talk to her and see how she enjoyed her first ever full semi road trip in a bev uh, and do you know what a bev is I have no idea so BEV stands for Battery Electric Vehicle. So yeah, the Tesla is obviously 100% battery powered. Yeah, that's and not the name of our car. We did not name our car BEV. No, I'm sorry. No, the car is called Trinity. <laughs> oh, Trinity. Trinity, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, nice. But um, what was your experience? Uh, tell us what you liked about traveling full electric. It was very quiet, which was nice. I love the um, glass on the roof that you could see up and, and I didn't have to wear my sunglasses, which is like really unusual for me, especially with all the windows that were available to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. So that was very nice. It made it very scenic. Um, they could do more padding on the door <laughs> because it was really, it was comfortable once you gave me the blanket and I could put the blanket behind because I like to sit like this. So that was, one, that was kind of a negative. They could do better with that, but the seats were comfortable. Um, I don't know that I'd get an electric car. I, I don't like having to stop and charge it. And I, I know we didn't lose, you know, but um, perfectly happy to pull in my Wawa, put the gas, fill the gas with gas, and go. <laughs> well, what did you think about the charging experience? Oh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even know anything was going on. And then when, you know, the one time we were eating lunch and wasn't paying any attention to it whatsoever. Right. So it was good. 
So other than the padding on the doors, <laughs> any other any other uh, cons that we can? No, no, really. It was it was very nice. I was enjoying watching your big screen, like in the front, seeing where we were going and yeah. stuff. That was kind of cool, you know. Yeah, so it was, it was good. all in all, it was good. It was a good trip. Good driver, you know. <laughs> a couple of times you did a couple. <laughs> we won't go there. Trying to yell at Mark a few times. It's been over a couple of occasions. So, yeah, uh, first time traveling in an electric vehicle and overall very positive experience. So we are going to be on to our next leg of the journey. Uh, that's just Morgan and I, and then we'll come back for our special guest and close this thing up in the future so stay tuned all right good morning everyone we are about to start our second leg of this trip and we're continuing from virginia down to south carolina today mm -hmm. We are very excited, but it's very chilly out this morning at 55 degrees. Um, yesterday was 82, so that is a very big drastic change, but we're going to see how the car does as we start our trip with 74%. So we are about 30 miles into our trip this morning, and unfortunately, I'm a little frustrated with Tesla this morning because it's supposed to be a satellite GPS. Well, we just drove over 30 miles without our satellite GPS because only our phones would work. So somehow our Apple iPhones could find service and get us to at least civilization that we needed to access our GPS on our car. But um, yeah, 30 miles, 30 miles we couldn't use our GPS, but yeah, so obviously, I mean, most of us don't go anywhere without our phones these days, but don't solely rely on the navigation in the car, because if it can't find a signal, then you're SOL, and that's not a positive uh, experience. But other than that, cruising on the highway, we're here in North Carolina, and I got my autopilot engaged, I'm just going to take it easy for the next 122 miles. Alright, so we are at our first charging uh, stop in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and we're gonna get some steps in, and we're also gonna go get this pretty lady a coffee. Thanks. It's a toasted <laughs> white chocolate mocha coconut thing. It's from Starbucks, so it's bougie, but, but it's done. so good. Uh, Morgan will tell you what the right name is, but it's delicious. So we're over here charging. It's in a weird location, honestly. Very weird. It's in a bunch of like, like hotels industrial park maybe? yeah it's the first know. time the only thing across the street from it that's half decent is a cracker barrel which not my preferred restaurant but yeah. for most travelers it is yeah so the first time we've ever been to one that's like not at a wawa or not at like a convenient yeah. shop place so just a bunch of hotels around and like morgan said a cracker barrel but also it was a weird design because you got a whole bunch of chargers and then they stop and then it makes like an L shape and they're charged on the yeah. other side. So it was pretty cool. A different layout, different location, very odd, but here we are charging in North Carolina. Yeah. Woo -woo. All right. So we had a nice walk over to Starbucks. We got the, go ahead, Morgan. The toasted white chocolate mocha. It is delicious. So Morgan is good to go. Uh, car is all charged up we're good to go and we're headed to our next charging spot in Somerton, Somerton, Somerton yeah. South Carolina all right almost there in Fayetteville North Carolina the charge that we just completed was $14.12 so we're now up to just about $40 total for our charging and that is super charging of course all right, so we arrived in Somerton, South Carolina, and we are on our last charge before we get to our house. And we stopped and we got some Zaxby's, which if you've never had Zaxby's, it is some really good chicken. Um, I can't know, I don't know if it's the best because I've never had every chicken in the entire world, but it's some good chicken. Had it before on a previous trip before we had Trinity, and it's excellent. I got the two hottest sauces they had, because if you remember from earlier, I liked spicy stuff. So I got the Tongue Torch, tried that, that was lame, didn't like that. And I got the Nuclear, which is here in this cup. The Nuclear is perfect. It's not very hot, it's not the hottest thing in the world, but it does give a little bit of nice spice level. And it also is uh, giving me a little bit of sweat. Now, could that be because it's 75 degrees outside? I'm not sure, but this is good. 
we're gonna eat this and then we'll head out to the house get a charge up maybe watch a little youtube while we're sitting here because uh unfortunately netflix disney plus are not loading so we'll see if we have any luck with youtube well, um, we're back on the road in south carolina now and we just got finished our lunch break bathroom break charging break and everything went really well until we went in and i wanted so mark and i collect magnets of each state that we go to we have a nice little magnet board that we put them on anyway um they were out of south carolina magnets so that's a bummer in south carolina but we'll be on the hunt later this week for that and then to top it all off literally the cherry on top of it all is that this was also a dairy queen convenience store which i've never crossed before but um they were out of ice cream Dairy Queen. How are you out of ice cream? Honestly, these backwood problems, it's going to be a different way of life if we ever decide to move. Let me tell you, Dairy Queen without the dairy is just a queen. It's just food. You need the dairy to be Dairy Queen. Yeah, so that's the way our day is going. But on a positive note, mm -hmm. they had a gas station were able to clean the windshield so yes. now it doesn't look like we have a million bugs splattered across our windshield and i don't think i mentioned but we did um have this charge was 15 dollars and 58 cents so that brings our total charging costs up to 55 dollars or so so that's fun not too bad though honestly i feel like by the time we'd be here and if we had a gas vehicle we'd probably fill up twice with how fast we're going and the wind that we're hitting and things like that so really that's over a hundred dollars so it's not too bad i like stopping every couple hours to stretch my legs and use the restroom and if possible grab a bite to eat or a coffee so in that aspect i just prefer traveling via electric it's just better for us so so fun dairy queen we made it we are finally here at our house in south carolina it is gorgeous outside, perfect 75 degrees. The house is beautiful and um, we will be able to charge, which will be pretty sweet. So right now we are gonna head into Charleston. We're gonna spend the night there. We have a carriage ride planned. I'm looking forward to that. Just kind of chill out, relax, and enjoy the beautiful scenery in beautiful downtown Charleston. Yeah, fortunately, we did not have any issues getting from Virginia to here in South Carolina today. So that was very nice, and we praise God for that. Amen. Amen. Swamps of Charleston. We just finished up dinner at the Tattooed Moose, which is this little, basically a dive bar uh, outside of Charleston, the main heart of Charleston, right outside. South Charleston. South Charleston. And food was fantastic. Epic burger and an epic duck sandwich, which is what they're famous for. Guy Fieri was there and he ate that. And so, yeah, uh, it was a recommendation from a good friend of mine. So, and we, to add to that whole restaurant thing too, Mark loves eating pork rinds out of a bag and they smell and look and taste disgusting. But this awesome restaurant makes them in house and they were so good and i even ate them and loved them they were super super good so highly recommend the tattooed moose yes it's true side of pork rinds delicious and so we uh needed to charge up before we go to our destination tonight because we have a few more errands to run so we looked up the nearest one and it was north charleston south carolina and it said it had a weight and i was like oh my gosh the first time ever that there was a weight at a tesla supercharger a really fun part about it all really was the fact that the the computer system here told us how long the wait was. And I said, well, Mark, I think that is about 10 minutes from our current location. So I said, why don't we just head on over, see if it's really gonna be a long wait, and then we can go from there. So I'm really happy that we did drive over here tonight. So it will just make our morning tomorrow a lot faster and easier to deal with. My wife is a genius, what can I say? Thanks. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, guys, we um, just charged from, what was it, 50? It was like 46. Oh yeah, 48 percent I believe, um, up to 80. So that was about a ten dollar charge. So we are up to um, 65 dollars now for charging fees this trip, which still is not too bad, and will save us some time tomorrow. So when we go home, we'll be sure to plug in at a home outlet. 
Good morning. It is a little bit chilly here in South Carolina today. It is 58 degrees. Still much warmer than Pennsylvania. We already got our uh, temperature reading from Pennsylvania. It was 34 degrees. So yeah, definitely a bit different. And we had to run and go get some Dunkin' uh, because Morgan runs on Dunkin' and any coffee really. And like yesterday we got Starbucks. So we got the same flavor. We'll have to try this out and see how it is. But this is ice. Anyway, so we started our morning with 86% uh, because we were able to plug in last night. We're headed to Savannah, Georgia for the day. We're gonna go to the Juliet Gordon Lowe house, which uh, this lady over here is a lifetime member of the Girl Scouts. So we're gonna go check that out. And yeah, she's driving today. I do the long drive, she does the short drives. That's pretty much how our marriage works. So <laughs> she's driving this short little drive over to Savannah. I'm excited. <laughs> started in kindergarten you know sold all those cookies and now we're finally getting to see where it actually originated so pretty excited to do this trek today and to get out there and see Georgia as well because I've never been to Georgia so I can't wait so we are in Georgia I can't believe it I don't know why I'm just so excited to be in Georgia and um, well what do you think about Georgia? Well, so far, what I have noticed is that Morgan loves these trees here. Look at these trees. Look at these trees. I think they Woo. look... I think they look like trees with bacteria growing on them. They are apparently called what? Calendar oak tree. Calendar. C-A-L-D-N-E-R. Calendar. Okay. Well, Something. Yeah, well, I looked um, it up. I don't know if that's right, but something like that. Very similar. So the plan for the day is, go ahead. Explore. Just got done touring the Juliet Gordon Low House, and we learned some new stuff about the Girl Scouts. I learned that there's these people called Girl Guides, and she herself, Juliet Gordon Low, helped to originate that over in Europe. In Europe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then she brought that concept with her to the United States, and hence we have Girl Scouts of America. What did you learn? Mm -hmm. I learned that she had five siblings. That was pretty cool to learn because I didn't know she came from a bigger family like that, at least in now today's standards, that's a bigger family. And then um, the fact that she didn't have kids, that was kind of cool. But then, of course, she loved up on her nieces and nephews and all of the great nieces and nephews even that came after those kids. And so I, then that's kind of like my life, you know. I have one amazing little niece, and she's so cute. And that's awesome. So, um, yeah. And then we learned also where she was buried, which is also right here in Savannah. So we also just went to her grave, which I just thought was so cool. And Girl Scouts from all over the country have painted rocks as you know that's like the thing to do with the kids and so they all put these rocks on our grave too which symbolize different things or what Girl Scout means to them and all that so it's just really neat to see this history and to even visit where she's laid to rest which she is laid to rest in her Girl Scout uniform that is made of wool and then she wore all year round even down here in Savannah Georgia in this hot southern heat it's hot oh yeah so i can't imagine doing that but that's what she did and she's buried in that uniform which i just think is so symbolic of her life and her goals of you know being a founder and the president of girl scouts so we're gonna go check out the uh river walk or river boardwalk river yeah boardwalk on the river there we're gonna Down check out some town. scenic water views <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's up next woohoo Oh, and our car, since this is about, you know, our car, we made it down here um, from 86%, I think we left our house at this morning, to 50%, so we'll probably need to hit a supercharger on our way back from Georgia up to South Carolina again tonight, but I know there's two along the way, on the route, so we'll be just fine. All right, so we sort of did the river walk in Georgia, uh, and by we did it, meaning we drove Trinity on a very cobblestone road near the river um it was it was all right it was kind of cool and it was it was all right yeah it was a river through two towns with one ferry going across it which isn't really too exciting yeah so There's a lot of industrial stuff around it i don't know 
It just was okay. Yeah, if you were staying in those hotels and you wanted to just like kind of walk that, pretty nice. But finding parking over there was extremely difficult, which is how we resorted to just kind of driving it. And so then we headed out of Georgia and we're now back in South Carolina and we are on Hilton Head Island and we are at the Supercharger at the southernmost point on Hilton Head Island. They actually have two. So we are charging there now and we're going to, you know, just walk around this little plaza that it's in. It's got a couple shops. So we're going to check that out. Yeah. And um, honestly, this the, so as, as you've watched the rest of the previous video here, we have not charged yet today. So we used um, and we stopped at like just under or just about 30%. So that's where we're comfortable with charging at. And so we'll charge here till 80 and then we'll probably be good until we get home tonight and plug in again. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think we should be good. Okay, so we have finished charging here on Hillen Head Island and we um, learned quite a bit about the island. It's all about their sea turtles and their dated communities. Now it's eight dollars to drive on a road. <laughs> eight dollars. Not calling us cheap or anything, but it's just a road, people. It's a gay community. It's for But the it's day. not. It also it takes you to golf courses. It's well, yeah. just because the PGA apparently comes on down here and they just charge out the wazoo for every little thing, like driving on a road. I told you that. I don't know. It's just a little <laughs> crazy. A little crazy for my taste. I oh just don't God. know. I don't know. Anyway, there's that. We just finished charging, as I mentioned. So we spent about $17. That takes us up to 80 bucks so far on our charging of charges. Charging charges. Mm. Charging charges. <laughs> <laughs> You're so punny. I try. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, but Morgan yeah. gave up driving, so I here I am yeah. driving on It's been a long day the for island. me. <laughs> I might be asleep in five minutes. <laughs> it's so but true. But no, seriously, though, I need to look up a place for dinner because now we're sticking around here. and We didn't look up any restaurants here, so <laughs> here we go with that. Wish us luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hilton Head Island. I'm sorry. You have officially redeemed yourself by a restaurant. It was very delicious, and the ambiance was great, and we got quite the show of... <laughs> Don't even go there. ...well-seasoned people in little black dresses. Yes, oh, that's I'll the way we're going to call them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Across from this amazing restaurant was this adorable park, at least by the daylight, and... It has like a nice walking loop and then it's right by the water, has little lights. It's so cute. Honestly, this is where I would want to live close to. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is really, really nice. This is much different than Savannah, very different than Charleston and island life I like, but it still just doesn't fit the bill for the Grove family. Yeah, so the restaurant was named Poseidon. And it was incredible. We, Hill yeah. and Head has redeemed itself for my beautiful wife Thanks. here. <laughs> I knew what I was coming, going to expect coming here. So yeah. I just thought her explanation was hilarious. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I should just be able to drive on any road I want to. <laughs> but not for $8. Good morning. Good morning. So here we are. It is now a rainy day in Charleston really just in South Carolina here as we're going to be exploring today. I'm very excited. We're going to start our day off with a coffee trip to this very, very fun coffee place called Brew Coffee Wine and Spirits. Wine uh, and something. I don't know. Does it have more information Wine here? and... I don't know. Things. So, brew. yeah. <laughs> Wine and brews. Yes. Is that what it is? I think it is. Oh, brew coffee. No, that would make sense. Uh, it's brew, coffee, wine, and craft beer. There we go. So they have coffee, they have wine, and they have craft beer. It is unfortunately raining, and uh, there is a storm approaching, but we're not going to let that keep us from enjoying our vacation. And driving and, our Tesla. And driving our Tesla, yes. Yeah, so. It's nice and dry inside. <laughs> yes, it is. So yeah, looking forward to going to try some uh, coffee flights, and then get on the road and do some exploration. Woo. <laughs> Well, here we are in the pouring rain. It is raining here in South Carolina for sure. 
So we got a brew to go. This is a pumpkin macchiato. It's pretty good. The flights we had were incredible. I had a banana cream. Thankfully, she allowed me to get it because she hates bananas. Hate them. But it was incredible. I loved it. This uh, King's coffee bean that they're using here, it's really good coffee. And I'm not like a huge coffee guy, but it was fantastic. Yeah. And then on the flight, we got brown sh cinnamon sugar and we got a cookie dough and the last flavor was toasted marshmallow i felt a little festive with that one yeah we got those four flavors they were all very good they all had little toppings on top too which made it super duper cute and i loved it every single second and i'm so glad he got one too that he enjoyed very much since this is for his birthday celebration so it was a very great start to our morning and now that we're all caffeinated up we are going to drive inland since and try to get away from this rain maybe we'll, we'll see try. and uh we're gonna go stop at a supercharger and then go explore another town all right guys so we just charged up in saint george south carolina and unlike most tesla supercharger stations where you pull forward and then back in these chargers you actually pull in and i wish i could show it to you but it is still raining out we have not escaped the rain but it was pretty nice to just be able to pull in and plug in versus pull forward, back in, and then charge. So it was a, a, a welcome change, but I know most stations are back in for the charging. Cost us $13.30, and so our current total is About 90, 95 yeah. Five-ish like dollars. $95 with all the change amounts. Yeah. Yeah. So we're still attempting to escape the rain, continuing inward, inland uh in south carolina so we'll see uh where we wind up next we are in lexington county we took a drive up um from that saint george charger we took a drive up to state capital which is columbia in south carolina and it is a city like every other city and you know it has city-like features so once we got there morgan and i were like yeah we gotta bail out of here because we're not city people by any means so we, we got out of there and we took a hop over to the west to Lexington County. And that's where we are now. We are at the Lexington, Lexington uh, County Supercharger. I don't know that that's exactly what it's called. But so we're here, we're charging up and then we're probably gonna head back down to Charleston. Unfortunately, we did not escape the rain. It has literally been raining all day, but Morgan's not with me right now. She ran into the uh, grocery store here, or, well, it's a Rose's Express, so it might not be a grocery store, but she ran into the store to uh, use a restroom. We're charging up here, and then we're gonna head back down towards Charleston. Overall, it's been an amazing day. So thrilled, and uh, I'll get back to you with what the cost was once it's done charging just finished up that charge and it is called the lexington super uh lexington south carolina supercharger location so i was correct in that name and it costs us 12 bucks so now our total is currently 107 dollars so like i said um it is still raining unfortunately and we're headed back to charleston all right good morning everyone we have been blessed with a non-rainy day and so we are going to go explore um, some very historical sites here down south. So we are going to go to the Angel Oak Tree. How can you come here and not go there? Um, and then maybe hit up another homestead type thing. So we read some good reviews and we're gonna get on way now. Yeah, and uh, we are able to start the day. We're starting a little later than normal. So we have 70% state of charge from our home charging. So hopefully, maybe, we'll see if we have to still go to a supercharger today um you know we'll just see where the day brings us we did a lot of driving yesterday so it's just kind of relaxing today <laughs> so we decided that we would stop to charge because we have some downtime and it would be nice to just top off the battery um we're meeting up with some friends later on so we had the time we're up here charging and we get a note a uh, notice on the screen and it says high usage supercharger station, charging limit set to 80%, adjust limit if needed. Which is pretty cool because I mean, yes, we were only gonna charge to 80% anyway, but it's pretty cool that they allow, they're, they're stopping. The inches of everyone's need in the area and they notice that there's gonna be a larger need. So instead of 
clogging up the charger station for longer as we know it takes longer to charge from 80 to 100 they cut everyone at 80 so i thought that was pretty inventive 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 okay now we're making <laughs> up words uh, i don't know no, so, yeah. <laughs> but it was a good day. Unfortunately, the rain did catch up with us. Uh, yeah. This morning, though, we went and saw the angel oak tree, and it was beautiful. Although, I thought it would be a little bit taller. Um, it grows outward. It's like a big, heavy tree, and it oh, grows it's out. It's called angel, so think of wings. They go out. Oh, I didn't think of that. But, yeah, so I really thought it was going to be taller, <laughs> kind of like a tree of life, like a really tall tree. Uh, mm -hmm. But... It wasn't. It was still cool, though. It was very pretty. And then we went and walked the river walk in Charleston and walked in through Battery Park, which Battery mm -hmm. Park was very cool. But unfortunately, because the rain caught up with us, we weren't able to get any pictures. But it was a really pretty park. It had some monuments and stuff in it. It was nice. The wind was ripping, though. Uh, the water, I mean, sailor over here, how fast would you be going on that water? Ripping. <laughs> ripping <laughs> really so. really fast and probably having some damage just because of the wind yeah it was that windy yeah so yeah it was that windy Very. my hair can tell you the real story it's messed <laughs> yeah so we're just hanging out charging and then hopefully so tomorrow morning when we go back to home charge tonight it won't you know, it'll get us hopefully back up to 80, if not more, because we'll set it up to 90% tonight, even though we know it won't get up that high, but it will still allow it to go over 80 if it can. And then we can get on the road back up to Virginia tomorrow. So we just finished up charging. Um, it was about $10, so we're now up to $115 for our total cost of charging this trip. Um, still not too bad, and we honestly have yet to have an inconvenient time or spot to charge. Honestly, the biggest hindrance of charging has been the rain. So, but you'd get that anywhere. And honestly, we did go to a town yesterday that was putting in a new supercharger station, and that station did have a ramp, just like like a overhang ramp covering. Covering, that, yeah. covering. Um, and so that was really cool to see because it kind of indicated more protection and in inclement weather even though that this is south carolina and they get snow once a year really so um i just thought it was neat that they made it more gas station looking at the new location it is cool to watch it expanding and uh mm -hmm. yeah it's been great we love it good morning <laughs> it is a beautiful day outside finally yes so <laughs> There's a beautiful walking path uh, behind the home that we're staying in. And we are now out exploring, walking around, just enjoying the fresh, beautiful air in this beautiful state of South Carolina. <laughs> and coming up is a beautiful tree that Morgan talked about before. It's and what is this called? The Candler Oak Tree. <laughs> and it's super soft. They're so cute. They're everything you could ever dream of. She really loves these. I huh? love these trees. I feel um, like our property, if we uh, buy one down here, has to have them. Yep. Trees, you got it. Yeah, just a gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous day. Just happy to finally be able to enjoy the outside without the rain. Well, guys, it's our last morning here in South Carolina, as I believe we may have mentioned on our walk this morning. It is now up to 77 degrees here, and we are sadly going home to where it's about 50 degrees. So. So sad, but we're not going straight home. We gotta go pick up our special guest of this trip. Gotta go get grandma. So we are headed to Virginia now and we are starting the 77 degree trek out with 77%. And where are we going right now? Starbucks. Cause what do you run on? Covey. That's true. We're going to Starbucks, <laughs> getting an iced peppermint, peppermint mocha. mocha. So we'll see how that is. And uh, yeah. yeah, can't wait. So excited. Alrighty, so guys, we are now officially in North Carolina. So sad, again, to be leaving South Carolina, but gotta get home to our babies. Yeah. So, um, we did notice a very key point of South Carolina, and that was that they love roundabouts. They use roundabouts on highways, they use roundabouts in the streets, just randomly, like when you could just turn left. Nope, you gotta go past two exits and take the third exit. You also have to make sure you're in the right lane because otherwise you're going to be taking the first exit whether you like it or not. So, very different down here. I believe the technical term is rotary circle, mm, but roundabout. roundabout is fine. It's fun. 
And um, but a positive note, most of the interstate or like highway traveling roads, the speed limit is 70 miles an hour compared to 55 mm -hmm. to 65 in Pennsylvania, which is very nice. Yep. So that is nice. We have been just cruising along, making our way back up north. So yeah. So we stopped to charge at, there's a fly in the car. Yeah. You let that in. OG. Oh man. Oh wow. Uh, we stopped to charge. We are in Lumberton, North Carolina supercharger. And finally, Morgan was able to get her ice cream. Spring. There was a cold stone. So Perfect. we walked over there and got a little ice cream for her. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to charge up and then continue to make our way back to Virginia. So we are back on the road in North Carolina and we stopped in at 16% and charged all the way up to 80% like always and that was also at a older charger which was probably put in initially so it took a bit longer of a time to charge so that did cost us $20 so now we're up to $135 I believe if my math is correct. Yep. So $135 so far this trip, but honestly, we will do a conclusion video and we will talk. <gasps> Sorry, the people drive so fast and wicked around here. It's crazy. I don't even know how they do it. But anyway, we are back on the road going up to Virginia. So we should get there. We're going to another supercharger, of course, before we plug in for the evening. And we're going to arrive there at 11%. So... I was just reviewing our old clips and before we arrived at 13% somewhere, so this is going to be one of our lowest battery charges ever, so 11% is where we'll arrive at our next supercharger. Alright, we are in Petersburg, Virginia, and we are doing a charge up on our dinner detour, going to, where are we going Morgan? What a burger. Which we believe, and you know, you're entitled to your opinion even if it's wrong, but we believe that Whataburger is the best fast food burger. We're not considering any type of burger that is at like a Five Guys or mm -hmm. Wawa. No, those are not considered. The McDonald's, Wendy's. So Whataburger, best fast food cheeseburger ever. And they are not up by us in Pennsylvania. So mm -hmm. dinner detour, here we come. But I want to talk a little bit about, we rolled in at 12% charge. And when we first set up from North Carolina, it kept having us stop to charge in Halifax. And I'm like, why do we need to charge there? It was like a five minute charge. Before going to the charging station, I decided that I wanted to just recalculate and see if we could get all the way to Petersburg, Virginia. And we could, and roll in at 12%, that's what it said. And before, when I first had an electric car, with the BMW or this car, I would be nervous when the car hit 30%. I'm like, oh my God, 30%, we're never going to make it. He was also one of those drivers, of course, as you can probably infer, that um, if it was a quarter tank of gas, it was too low. Even a half a tank of gas, too low. He was always getting gas. It was frustrating. Yeah, so I've become confident enough in the car's ability, as efficient as it is, and in the car's computer to mm -hmm. know that if it says 12%, I'm probably going to get there between... 11 and 13 percent so or 12 exactly and um the over the art updates always fix the computer system and provide more details so that way that the computing is more accurate and so we got here 12 percent and yeah and but if you want to charge for five minutes and stop every hour you're more than welcome to do that i'd rather just go as far as i can stop and charge and then get back on the road well guys, we are done charging here tonight and it was another 20 bucks for that long charge as far as 12% to 80%. So another 20 bucks brings us to 155 and um, now it's time for Whataburger. Well, the South is definitely different and probably COVID did not help because Whataburger is closed here. And honestly, it doesn't even look like the chain Whataburger because it's not orange and fun. It's white and boring. So, yeah, now we are on the hunt for food. Usually people always say, oh, don't you ever worry about not finding an electric station? Well, down here, down south, we worry about finding food. That is what we worry about because probably one, there's no help. And then two, their hours are wrong online because who changes their online hours? They just put a sign on the door. So frustrating.
So, no Whataburger for us, but it is what it is. We just got to our abode for the night and we're gonna have some PB&J. Woo. Good morning. It is not South Carolina weather. It is 48 degrees outside. That is why I'm wearing pants and a hoodie, yes. I'm saying a lot, home charging. Well, one thing you never leave the house without when you have a electric vehicle is your mobile connector. Now Tesla, when you bought a vehicle, you would get the Tesla mobile connector. This is the Tesla mobile connector. And it comes with your standard household outlet plug, which is a NEMA 515. And it plugs into, you know, your regular household outlet. You plug it in, connect it to the connector. And with this, it's on 120 volt architecture. So you're only getting about one kilowatt per hour but you're still getting something. So if you're plugged in overnight for 12 hours, you get 12 kilowatts. Now, the house we stayed at in Virginia had a NEMA 620 plug, which is here, outlet. And this is the plug, outlet. <laughs> and this was hooked up for an air compressor, 240 volt architecture. So we were getting 16 amps out of this, 12 amps out of this. One kilowatt per hour, four kilowatt per hour. So it helped us charge a lot more overnight. But here's the thing, A, B, C. Always be charging if you can. And if you can, always have your mobile connector. When you buy the Tesla mobile connector, well, it used to come with the car, but now you have to buy it. Anyway, it comes with a NEMA 515, which is a standard. We go onto the Tesla website and they have connectors for all sorts of NEMA outlets. NEMA 1450s, which is what our level two charger plugged in at home. And then the NEMA 620. And let me tell you, it was worth it. So very glad to have it. Time to start the trek back to Pennsylvania. Unfortunately, it is cold, but it's what we gotta do. So we just talked about the benefits of being able to charge on a 240 volt architecture versus a 120, which is what we use in South Carolina. It warmed up a few degrees. We obviously have the heat on, but we are starting our day with 75% state of charge. It's 53 degrees out and we are on our way northbound don't Jeez. click the garage opener. The northbound <laughs> to the state of Pennsylvania. And we also have our grandma back. Hi. <laughs> we are headed to our first supercharger stop on this trek home. It is in Stafford, Virginia. It, the car did want me to go a little bit further up the road to another charger, but there was two issues with that. One, I'm really hungry, and two, it was gonna be 8% battery at arrival and I just wasn't comfortable at 8% in 48 degree weather. And also this charger that we're heading to right now has Wawa, so everyone loves Wawa. Another one was just gonna be in like a Wegmans parking lot, so for breakfast purposes, it's just not as adequate for what we were hoping to get for breakfast, so. Yes, and speaking of breakfast, it was kind of funny. I said to Morgan, like, are you hungry? And she said, oh yeah, I definitely want to get it. And I, she was like, well, what do you want? I was like, I kind of want a breakfast burrito. And she opened up, because she's the queen of uh, fast food apps, uh, and opened it up and said, well, points. actually, we have a free breakfast burrito. I was like, winning. Perfect. So Wawa yeah. for the win, going to charge up, going to fuel up with uh, our bodies and our vehicle. And then we'll be back on the road. Well guys, um, Mark and I and Grandma, we were here trying to find a good stop for charging and for lunch before we started back on the road. Um, and we were using the Tesla screen here to do so. Um, and then all of a sudden it was, we were sitting and sitting and sitting at 79% and I was like, this is just weird. Why are we not increasing our charge? And then Mark clicked on the, um, the car control down the bottom to pull up all the options on the screen. And then it flipped up saying, oh, you're at 88%. So very, very strange that that happened. I'm really assuming that that's just a glitch, but we will see if there's an update for something along those lines later because that has just never happened before. But we are back on the road now at 88% and it says we can make it home, but we are gonna stop for lunch as I mentioned. So um, we will see how far we get and then to what percent we'll be at with when we head to grandma's. We charged from 12% to 88%, 88% and that was about $20. So our total cost of charges at this point now is $155. Woohoo!
So we are at our last, last, finally last supercharger stop of this whole entire trip. We're pulling in at 41% and I'm gonna charge that up to 80% of course. And also grab some lunch now but it's been going good mark was nervous because we took all these toll roads which we never ever do I wasn't nervous but nervous because of traffic so don't lie you oh, were yeah. nervous yeah i, I was nervous. you were a little mad no traffic, yeah. but hey we actually have been cruising and right I'll along and our eta will be on the run. to grandma's house actually has decreased by one minute of the original estimated eta so i'm pretty happy with that and we are at our last again finally last supercharger so i will let you know how much that one is well we just finished up at our last supercharger stop for this whole entire trip and that one was 12 dollars so we're up to 172 as our final number as far as the charging costs which all in all is really not too shabby mark and i are going to spend some time figuring out what it would have been if we still had our volkswagen tiguan um, and did this trip with that car so that we do have some sort of comparison for you all um, with exactly if that's a good number or more expensive than if we still had gas. So we will let you know, but we are heading out and gonna be home soon enough. No. We're home, <laughs> we made it. So grandma, what was your favorite part about traveling in our Tesla? This week? Um, I think the last place we stopped for lunch was quite interesting. <laughs> yes, the uh, different people we ran into. Yes, it was quite very interesting. <laughs> Any major points about the car? No, it's just pretty quiet. It's, it is quiet. It, it was good to sleep. Good to sleep. <laughs> right, and morning. what do you think? What do you think about this? Uh, the this the double trunk. Cheap. Yes, because I was looking for, I wondered, well, I thought you were working on the engine, and I didn't know <laughs> there was no engine. <laughs> yep, so we put her bag in the front, and uh, that huge bag there fit, so it's we're great. Good. We're home.